go. What is up guys, welcome back to another video, right, so today we've got another day in the life, a bit of a daily vlog, what my usual daily routine looks like in the UK lockdown at the minute, because we are still in lockdown, lockdown 3.0. So yeah, I'll just take you through a usual day, what I usually do get up to, my days do vary, but this is just like a normal day for me, so let's get straight into the video, let's start cracking on with the day, I need to do my hair, so I'll show you what products I use for my hair, how I usually style my hair, it's all like black label stuff, I absolutely love their stuff, I'll show you, I'll go and get it now. So guys, these are the products I use, we've got the black mist, black label, this is what you put on after you've washed your hair, when you want to hair dry, or blow dry hair into like a position, it's so good this, highly, highly recommend, it's like a pre-styling spray, it smells like uh, Aventus Creed as well, which is the one, then I'll put a little bit of this in, just for volume, makes your hair like a bit thicker which is good if you've got thin hair then i'll finish it off with the profile putty from black label again very good product especially for, for my hair it is quite heavy my hair quite thick so this holds it into position and then last i will put a little bit of hairspray on and this is the best one i've found to be honest on the market the best hairspray especially that holds it into position because i don't really like messing with my hair once it's done i like leaving it hey it's good having a good hair day isn't it honestly sometimes at the minute because of lockdown i still need a trim so it can be a bit hit and miss but anyway let's get the hair sorted just want to get like a fingertip full about that much is enough depending on how much hair you've got if you've got more hair I mean, it's probably not the best I've ever done my hair, but it'll do for today. Right, let's go on to the next thing, which is we're gonna film a YouTube video, another one. It's like a YouTube inception, but I got some new trainers, some Jordans, mid Jordans, and I thought I'd do a bit of a review on them and see if they're actually worth getting. So we just got done filming the uh, Jordan mids video. These are the signal blue ones, guys absolutely love them to be honest i think the resale value is going to go up as well so quite a good investment but it's nice to have a bit of a different pair of trainers going on not just like the usual ones i could always wear them i've always just got a white trainers i've got some superstars as well the other day which are quite nice but we're going to film a reel now so i'll show you what i do for a reel i'm going to do like a bit of a posing reel how to get good shots for like instagram so we'll get that involved Maybe I'll go and get some water first and then we'll get that sorted. Ooh. Have you got avocado on the list? No. Please can I have some avocado. Always doing a shopping list for us. It's very boring. Pork sausages, chicken sausages. It's very what? Boring? It's a boring list, isn't it? Yeah, we've not got much to be honest. We trying to eat a little bit lower carb this week we've been doing it in the weeks and then having a pizza for the weekend so we've just been defeating the whole object really <laughs> um, but yeah we're going to start smashing it now because i've got a bit of a gym in the office which i'm going to show you later we'll go there in a bit yeah i'm going to smash the gym from now on i'm going to do a full new workout training plan i'm going to get on it are you yep are you yep you're going to come to my gym am i allowed yeah, have you signed up yeah, to the membership, membership to the Sulfit Gym? <laughs> so this is the outfit I'm wearing to film the reel. I'll be filming the reel in a sec. I'm going to do like a bit of a poses, how to look good on Instagram photos. We've got the new Jordans on. They look sick, you know. We've got some new Uniqlo jeans, Uniqlo, which are some of my favourites at the minute. Absolutely love them. And then we've got ASOS puffer jacket and then just a Sulfit long sleeve tee on underneath with the rose gold and black necklace but yeah laura's just got back from doing the food shop so let's go and have a look what you've got really exciting. she's like josh i need to do a big unveil she does it every time she comes back from the food shop it's very excited even though we've got a list did you get did you go off the list yeah oh she's very good sushi as well 
vegetable. Salmon and a vegetable. Ooh, milk, cheese. You've got to lead it all out. Is this for the no, thumbnail? Just got a thumbnail. <laughs> Looks very good. Lots of meat and protein. Avocado. Trying to play guess the price. So for all this, I think. Do a realistic, not a Okay, I'll be realistic. Thirty-six pounds. Oh. It was thirty-six pounds. Oh my! I'm so good at guessing. <laughs> it was twenty-six and yeah. nine pound eighty or something. So it's like thirty-five pound eighty. Yeah. I'm very good at guessing, honestly. Look how many bags of lettuce we've got? Yeah, two or more. All right. Okay. So it would be cheaper then. One pound off. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. This is the shopping. Maybe I'll do a bit of a grocery haul in another video. I did. I remember I did an Aldi on a few years ago, and a few people liked it, so maybe we'll do it again. So that's the real done. I'm just gonna go and get something to eat now, guys. First meal of the day. Not anything to eat yet, and it is one o'clock just gone one o'clock so usually i do tend to fast in the mornings just because when i eat something i tend to feel a little bit more sluggish a little bit more tired so i'll have something to eat now keep me going until i have my workout in a bit and then we'll head to the office got quite a few orders to pack as well which is sick we always have quite a few orders over the week and then i sort them all out on monday <laughs> lunch turkey bacon tomato omelette and then some toast get this down it's like the usual go-to i've not had it for a while though you know just got to the office guys right so we're gonna make a bit of an office gym just because there's not much space at my house at the minute so this is what we've got so far we've got the bench got the weights bench involved and we've got quite a few sets of dumbbells which is sick so we've got tens i think we've got 17.5s 15s 25s and then sevens 7.5s we're going to get a mirror here and then hopefully we're going to get well we'll get some mats as well for the floor so the floor doesn't get damaged and then um, hopefully we might get like a bench press, barbell bench press. We'll reconfigure, rearrange a few bits, make a bit more room. It's going to be the one. I'm very excited with this, you know, like I've always wanted a warehouse slash gym. So this is kind of like the best case scenario at the minute. And hopefully soon when we can expand Tulfit a little bit more, we this next office is like probably similar size to this. We Maybe we could knock through to there and have another office space and then that whole bit could basically be like a bit of a gym so future's looking bright do you know what i mean it's very very ideal what we're going to do this weekend we're going to have a little bit of a, a discount code running for sulfit just from friday to sunday so starting the 26th at 8 a.m if you use code sul20 you'll be able to get 20 percent off everything Got some very nice items in at the minute, so just keeping out for Friday. But yeah, that's a sneak offer. I'm not going to be saying it to anybody else until the actual day comes. So I'm going to pack some orders and then get the workout involved as well.
So guys, it's time for the workout. We're gonna do a bit of a chest, shoulders and arms day today. We've got some dumbbells to work with. The weather is so nice outside, so got the windows open. You can see the blue skies. I think they've just announced or nearly announced um, when the gyms are gonna be reopening, which is probably about April time. So got like a good six to eight weeks before we can get back in the gym. So I'm gonna absolutely smash these office workouts, but let's get into it. Start cracking on with the workout, guys. Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame. Though it might be nice to own a jet plane, I'ma do it all for you. Come along and see it's true. But the world is pretty cold, you might need a sweater too. I'ma put a ride on ya. Came from California, trying to make it in life. A school that never taught ya. Dreams of my own, I've been working from home. I can do it on my own, but sometimes it gets cold like. I don't know if it's picking up, but it's such a nice evening, guys. Chopping veg for tea. So what we're going to have is, we're going to have these reduced fat burgers from Aldi. Very nice. Let me turn this down. So I don't get copyrighted, let's turn that down. Right, so yeah, reduced fat burgers from Aldi. We've been having these for weeks and honestly, probably the nicest ones you can find. Very ideal. And then we make a big salad with iceberg lettuce, carrots, we've got tomato cucumber in there, red pepper. Mix it all in, we've got croutons, which is a very good touch as well. Very nice croutons, add them in. Because we're not having many carbs, so put them in there. It can be the carbs and it's like a big salad. Mix it all up. And then we have the burgers on the side. Very nice. Very easy as well. Nice and simple. Final product, got the salad with the croutons on, two burgers with a little bit of reduced fat cheese. It's very nice, looking forward to this. So we've got the last snack of the day guys, we've got two pieces of dark chocolate and a little flapjack that Laura made yesterday. It's just got oats, banana, peanut butter, honey inside and it's got some water as well because I'm at the dentist in the morning so don't want to have too many fizzy drinks before we go dentist. Um, but yeah, basically that is a day in lockdown. I think Boris has just spoken, hasn't he? Yeah. And uh, when is stuff like starting to open back up? 8th of 20, March? No, that's schools. School's 29th. 8th of March. 29th of March for what? Meeting people outdoors. Meeting people outdoors. And then 12th of April for shops and gyms and shit. 12th of April. So it's not too, what, it's about six weeks, is that? Yeah, not long, really. It's not too bad, really. So, fingers crossed we can start getting back to normal. I think it says 17th of May for holidays abroad again. 21st of June. Oh, 21st of June. Yeah. That's quite far, isn't it? Mm. Four months. As long as we can go away in summer, I'm happy. We need to get it involved, don't we? But, yeah, guys, that is going to wrap up the video. So, that is what a usual day looks like. At the minute in lockdown, there's not loads going on. It's not the most exciting. Football should be back on soon. I'll do a video. 
when we're playing football again. But yeah, I'll catch you on the next video. Take care.